hello 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 welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel i am jessica and of course this is my channel okay before i get started of course please follow me on instagram right here jessica kuma underscore tiktok jess kuma my travel instagram which has something to do with this video i guess where it's just now almost forgot but i didn't okay so as you can see in the tile down below this is going to be my airbnb tour of tulum mexico i was just in playa de carmen for two and a half weeks almost three weeks but i didn't get to do an airbnb tour there because there were some issues and then every time i wanted to do it maintenance was there so it's just a problem my apologies and now i kind of like figured out because this is my first day here i actually just got to tulum like a couple hours ago i'm just gonna do the tour as soon as i get here doesn't matter if i'm kind of tired even though like i only traveled an hour but like you know the next place i go it's gonna be a little bit longer of a travel but whatever as soon as i get here just do it jessica so that's what we're doing okay let's get started You come into the front and you guys saw a little sneak peek there. This is the first thing that you see. There's no place like home except the beach. Sorry, you hear me closing the door in the back. So you walk in, this is the front view. From the this is like a mini hallway, I guess. Some nice coat hangers, key racks if you want them to be. I put all my stuff there, so don't mind that. We're just gonna go straight into it. So kitchen area, I brought some stuff out, which is cool. Oh, this is my favorite part, like come on just me every morning grounding i'm just gonna go out there and just show you guys a full full outdoor look it's so warm too literally literally me no but this is amazing and that's what you see Pretty much everyone's looks the same, for the most part. This is me in heaven. Oh my god, it's lightning. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going back. Ooh. It's actually not that big, but I love this place. When I was here in the summertime, in Tulum generally, I walked past this path. I walked past this place every day and I was like, oh my god, like I need to stay here next time. And here I am. Manifestation. That's all I can say. So let's continue on. This is like a little cute table, which I'm probably going to be sitting down there doing my Instagram stuff. Hee hee hee. My bag with all my random stuff. You got a clock. This little seating area. I brought my incense out. <laughs> little quick intermission before I like show you guys the rest. Um, last time when I was in Tulum as well, like for the first part of my trip, I stayed in a place I was like, just like a big room like well it was smaller but it was like a room like this and i was like okay i can never stay i guess he would call the studio i'm like i can never stay in the studio again like i need to have like an actual door to my bedroom but it's like this place is just so magical to me i don't know like when i first laid my eyes upon it i was like i have to and it's just perfect anyways let's keep going okay so this is basically like the bedroom area um you can see this is where we came out of and then here we are so I already brought some stuff out there, whatever, my morning stuff. Um, there's like their information. Came with a bag of chips and two waters, which I put in the fridge. I can't even have those chips because they're not vegan, but that's fine. Hi guys, can you see me? <laughs> um, this is, I think, a king bed. It's very big. It's so funny because I don't know what video it was, but I literally only sleep on one side of the bed. So one side will not be touched. And I'll probably be sleeping on this side because it's closer to everything there. Okay, off to the bathroom we go. Let me put a light on. Oops. Okay. Oh, here I am. I'm wearing this. This dress, this dress. I'm just so excited. Okay, so shower, standard basic shower. Oh, another thing too. <laughs> it's hard to see because the sun is behind me and the light is behind me. Maybe I should just turn around, eh? Hey, I keep, I'm Canadian. Um, that doesn't look good. Okay, as I was saying, oh my gosh, I didn't even say this in the beginning. First of all, I'm staying at Mystique Tulum. Um, it's probably gonna be in the title below, but like I sure as, uh, you know, started off with that. Um, this place is like, I think it's kind of like a hotel condo type thing, but they are building like an actual condo. I, I don't know, I honestly don't know. 
let's just continue on. Okay, so as I was saying, back to the shower, nothing special, toilet, nothing special. I put that down because it was on the toilet and I just like, you know, like that being there. I'm gonna put this in the shower whenever. I'll actually take a shower later. It smells so good in here. I wish you guys can smell it, but I think it's the incense. I'm gonna test on camera if it's the incense. Obviously not taste it, but I just wanna, it's this. Oh, the smell in here is just giving me everything. Oh, I just rolled back. It's giving me everything. It smells so good. Okay. Then you have a little closet in here. Um, some, I don't know, bed stuff. You have some space. You have another closet in here. It's kind of a little bit dark. Oh, there's light there. Okay, so I found the light for here. And there's another closet as well. Um, yeah. This is what it looks like when you enter the bathroom, basically. So that's on your left-hand side. Then straight ahead will be I and your sink and all that good stuff. And then to your right will be the shower. Personally, like, I don't really love using, I honestly almost never, I think I have once in my life used like closet space. I don't know, I literally live from a suitcase when I'm away from home. It's kind of crazy, but it's like, I don't know. I just have a problem with like touching things. I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. But I think that's enough closet space for one person, especially if you like hanging your things and stuff like that. I think, I hope. Okay, so we're pretty much done. I'll show you some cool little things they have though. Like, look at this. The best wines are the ones we drink with friends. And I guess when you have a bottle of, of wine, you put your cork in here. This is just a nice painting. I think I already showed you guys the clock. Is that right? Looks at my digital clock. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's not actually. It's not right. Yeah, so that's pretty much it guys. We're just gonna do a nice 360 spin. I believe I showed as much as I can, honestly. Like, especially for me, one person, this is great. Yeah, this is Mystique Tulum. Um, I'm an F101. This video won't be going up until I'm literally leaving. <laughs> but it's really hard. I don't even think you can get in here. I know you can't because I read that paper or whatever. They're like, no guests allowed. So yeah, you have a wristband. So yeah, that's that. Um, I'm only here for a week and then I'm headed off to another country. So I'm definitely gonna enjoy it as much as I can. Oh, I just love it so much. I was gonna end the video, but I realized I didn't really show the amenities. Another thing too about this place is that they have, I'm reading a sign right now, free beach shuttle from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Um, and then the last call back, the last ride back is 5 p.m. So that's cool, I'll be going to the beach. I don't know if I'm going tomorrow, maybe tomorrow for a couple, I don't know, we'll see. It doesn't, even, doesn't matter, this is an Airbnb tour, this is not a vlog. Um, yeah, so I'll show you guys the gym later. Okay guys, we have a little bit of a background switch because obviously I'm not at that Airbnb anymore. Um, the video was going to be over, but then I had an issue and now I have to tell you guys about the whole experience because honestly, it was a mess. Okay, I have my calendar here because I want to get these dates right. So basically that whole week I was staying there, everything was like fine, whatever, as you guys saw. Great property, great, great amenities, great place cars in the background but we're gonna keep going so basically the Thursday the 27th I didn't sleep there just because I had like a coaching thing to do like a VIP whatever overnight situation so that was fine then the next day I slept there obviously the 28th and guys literally so I hear this like water like 
I just hear this water, I don't even know how to explain, like a waterfall basically. I hear Niagara Falls, that's what I hear. I hear Niagara Falls, but I'm in Mexico. And I'm like, oh, that's weird. And I honestly thought it was just raining because it was raining at night, but like, whatever, on and off. But it was like a that I've never heard before. So I'm like, what is going on? So I honestly didn't even think much of it. I was just like, hey, I don't know. I guess the rain's coming down hard. So it was pretty late too. Like I was up super late, just like integrating everything I learned the day before and all of that. Sorry, there's something in my eye for real. Now there's someone cutting grass in the back. This is great. So pretty much like it was like three o'clock in the morning now, maybe even like close to four. And I was like, okay, I'm not actually getting tired now. So I'm gonna go to bed. So I get up to go to the bathroom before I go to bed. And literally all I hear, or all I feel on my feet is just, my feet are soaked. I'm like, what is going on? What's going on? I look closely at the ground. Basically, there was a flood. There was a flood happening from like, I was on the lower ground. So from all the way up, apparently there was like a sink that exploded and it was just gushing down the stairs. I'm just like, what is going on? I'm gonna put a video in, just give me a couple seconds. So I have to explain this part. So it's all around the bed area. It's all in the front hallway, as you guys saw. I'll probably actually here. It's all in the front hallway, like that whole area. Um, kind of like getting towards the kitchen as well so I'm just like what is happening and I was honestly freaking out because like guys uh, I hate cleaning I hate cleaning there's a reason why I hired a cleaner for my last place because it's just like I'm not you know like I was just breaking down because then I was like okay hey, where is the, I couldn't even find the mop and I was like where's the mop I had to go to security they honestly didn't do much it was like four o'clock in the morning they're like we there's no one that can help you right now I'm like okay I, I broke down. I had a little, a little cry fest. I'm like, why, like, why is this happening? Obviously, I messaged her, the host, and I was like, hey, so this is what's happening. This is a video I sent her. In the beginning, I guess, like, yeah, in the beginning, you can't really see too much water, but in the end, probably around this part now, you see like my feet sla sloshing in the water, and she obviously didn't answer for something in the morning. What time did I actually message her? Let me get the timing right. I messaged her at. Oh, it was kind of early. It was only 2.56, 2.55, so it was 3 a.m. She didn't reply back until 9 a.m. So I was like, okay, hey, whatever. So I just started cleaning. I was literally breaking down, guys. It was so bad. So I was like, okay, hey, I definitely can't go to sleep now. So I was just so like upset, angry, frustrated, sad, mad, confused. Like so many things were running through my mind. I'm literally on my computer, like in the like dining area or whatever. I'm just searching for like other Airbnbs to go to. And the VIP thing that I had, like I was... I was with a coach, like I wasn't the one coaching, and her place, she was like down the road from me and it's like super nice. I'm like, oh, I'm definitely staying there next time. Like in the beginning of this video, remember how I was like, oh, I knew I was staying here last time I laid my eyes upon it. That's how I feel about the next place I'm staying at when I go to Tulum again, like so nice. But anyways, I was on the computer, I was on Airbnb. I was like, hey, I definitely need to like get out of here because I was just like freaking out. But then, I don't know, something came over me. I was like, hey, just go, just calm down, deal with it in the morning, see what she says and everything. And uh, the kicker is that not much was done, honestly. She came by like that day and she looked at everything and she was just like, yeah, the water, like, it sucked. It was the worst experience. I actually, I actually thought she would care a little bit more, you know? But um, yeah, there was a little bit of water still by like the front and she's like, yeah, it's just gonna like, you know, I guess she went to the back right. It just was not the situation I was looking for, so. That's my story. Um, I probably won't stay at the property again. Maybe the property, definitely not that specific apartment. But um, that's my story. My neighbors are here. Started off great, ended up horrible. So that's Mystique for you. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate each and every single one of you. Of course, don't forget to follow my Instagram, Jessica underscore my travel Instagram, where it's just now, and then TikTok. We're we're loving it. We're loving it, just Kuma. I think. I hope. I don't know. Um, you guys can kind of see the background of like where I'm staying now, which I'll be showing obviously a tour of this as well. I'm in Belize, by the way, so it's gonna be a great one. I've had no issues I like this. We'll talk about it in the Belize Airbnb vlog, but like honestly, just just look. Actually, I'll show you guys a sneak peek just because you guys are the realest. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen all of this. But there's a um, little vlog thing as well. Like, we're, we're just living life. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm in like a treehouse right now, which is super cool. So I'll see you guys in the next one. This, this tour is going to be everything. It's going to be everything. Unlike the other one, I actually still haven't 
written my review yet so i'm kind of just waiting until i'm like emotionally okay you know i don't want to write my reviews like through my emotion because it, it won't be good it'll literally be one star i left I think a week ago tomorrow will be a week so i have to write it today um i don't want to write it while i'm like high it's like strung still thinking about it especially right now since it's all new so i'll write the review tonight but um it definitely was a five star okay bye guys <laughs>